<laughs> Speaking of flaming. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Steve's picture's up on the screen. Hello. I wonder if they're going to keep Steve after they go to uh, Sports Talk. Oh, are they, well, shit. Are they going oh, yeah. to Sports Talk? Yeah, YSP's going to Sports Talk. Ugh. That's a definite. Fucking... Uh, you know what though? That's that, a definite. Is that what is it? K Rock couldn't make it. They can't. The Rock can't can't make it there. All People these just don't want it. Is that what it is? All these cities are losing their rock stations. It's unbelievable. And and these rock stations have been there their entire lives because you get it anywhere else. And they play the. I was listening to Q one hundred four. It's amazing that survived. And the fucking the whatever they play Van. Uh, what do they? Oh God. Van Morrison. Van Morris. Brown eyed girl. It's the same, same shit. Fucking <laughs> shit. Same fifty songs, if that. So is, is that much? Bonaducci staying in sports talk. I don't know, but I mean, YSP is definitely going sports talk. Toucher and Rich are amazing because they survived and they're, and they're still doing pretty much their show with a few differences, mm. but they survived that. They're doing great up there in Boston. Yeah. So. You know, I, I wouldn't want to talk sports all morning. Well, I wouldn't no. even want to talk for ten minutes. Yeah, but YSP is definitely going away. Yeah, it looks, it looks like, uh, you know, they just got to stick with it. They got some in there. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> I love Jim. I would listen to Jimmy's sports talk oh. show if you did that. Well, it just looks like, uh, you know, they got to come oh, to play. Oh, shut the fuck up! <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, Frank from Bergenfield, what's on your mind? You know what? It looks like to me like the really. Does it really? Is that what it looks like to you? <laughs> oh, fuck yourself. <laughs> shut the fuck up. Just watch it. Here's what happened. He threw the fucking ball. The guy missed it. <laughs> Asshole. It really is all nonsense. Oh, uh, it sucks. It's just a bunch of hearsay. <laughs> it really is. You know, we got to do in the offseason. We got to stay healthy. Really? Because I thought cancer helped the team. You fucking asshole. Shut the fuck up. Uh, Stupid. The same shit. You know, we got to strengthen, strengthen our pitching oh. rotation. It uh, fell off a little bit in the last 10 games. And, uh, bah, 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 bah. Well, you know what? You're not wrong. <laughs> right. I know that. I just said we got to fucking strengthen our pitching rotation. Of course I'm not wrong. Who would say that's wrong? <laughs> no, good pitching is bad. Mm -hmm. Well, YSP is going to be one of those uh, fucking uh, I encourage everybody to abandon it. Well, Philly's a big sports town, so... Oh, uh, they'll listen. They'll, they'll do all right. What do you think, the Eagles? I, I don't know. Harold Carmichael's coming back. <laughs> Harold Carmichael? Yeah, right. Jaworski's on the sideline coaching. Jaworski. Is he? Hey, what's going on? What do you think about the Eagles? I think the birds are going to fly. <laughs> you fuckhead. <laughs> <laughs> And we lose rock stations for that. Oh, it's fucking But rock stations hideous. did it to themselves. Yes, they did. They R fucked it up. Rock blocks and the same fucking faggoty songs. They, they fucked it up. They deserve what they get. Now all you this, just go to satellite or fucking All uh, this competition was Pandora. coming. They saw it on the horizon. They did nothing but sit there and yep. let, these, let all the competition eat them up. Yep. And they emasculated all male talk, so men don't want to listen to that shit. Nope. No. It's all soft and corny. I need a sandwich and a kiss. That would be a great mm, <laughs> slogan for a sports station, though. It's all hearsay. <laughs> it's all hearsay. <laughs> <laughs> yes. 510, the blech. All right. I listen to the fans sometimes. It's like, sh what the? F shut the fuck yeah. up. What do you know? Reporting you know nothing. The Yankee, uh, what do they call them? The, the guys who will just follow the one team are Yankee, not correspondent. Uh, Exactly. Ah, I was gonna say I was, I was gonna say beat writers, but I don't that's know. wrong. I'm yeah. glad you didn't say that because you would have ah, you ah, humiliated yourself and the team. I just did that. I want to. I want to hear typical sports talk now. Oh, mm. I can't think of any right now. It's terrible. All that nonsense. You know, it looks like uh, the Mets are. Uh, you know, they're having a tough time because uh, you know what? They dropped three out of the last four, and the Braves are looking. <laughs> yeah, I know, but the Braves got a tough schedule. They got to go to the West. <laughs> Do they got to go to the West Coast? <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> it fucking stinks. Yeah, there's 120 games left in the season, but the Mets lost the last three out of five, oh. so that seems to be a problem, I guess. Oh, <laughs> we got to find that third spot in the rotation. Right. Yeah, do we? <laughs> I hope we find I hope it's a black hole. I hope they step on the mound and they're sucked into a vortex and never heard from again. Now, that would be interesting. Drop Ana dead. Another one is uh, strengthen the bullpen. Oh, yeah, bullpen. Oh, boy, the bullpen needs to be strengthened a little bit. You know, we got to get a lefty specialist in here. Why? Because the fucking guys in the majors, lefties can't hit a lefty? <laughs> 
You know what we got to get in here? Fucking music. <laughs> get this fucking boring drollery off the fucking radio. Oh, it's fucking horrible. <laughs> it's the same 30 callers in, a, in his fucking... Every show has the same callers. Do, yeah. we, do we have a good fucking piece of audio we can play? No, there is none from sports radio. Damn it. Any good audio from that? No. From Any nothing. sports show. So the, I hate they have the same name. Hey, I'm Tim and Tim. Hey, we're here talking sports. <laughs> Hockey, <laughs> bar, basketball. Uh, uh, ugh. <laughs> ugh. <laughs> Fucking drives me nuts, <laughs> and I used to listen obsessively. Yeah, yeah. You get to know them. There's fucking Bob, the fan is the big one here. What's his name? Bob Page. His name is. No, he talks a lot that. of boxing. I like him. I used to listen to Steve Summers because uh, he made it. He made it kind of fun. No, he didn't. You know, like schmoozing on the uh, schmoozing on the other side of the glass. Yeah, Steve uh, Summers schmoozing on the overnight. His claim to fame is that Ugh. Jerry Seinfeld called him once in the middle of the night. Ugh. Oh, really? That's yeah. that guy? Yeah, Steve Summers. But when Imus used to be on, he used to say that. He used to go schmoozing under the covers till Imus in the morning. Oh. I'm schmoozing. Right. Ugh. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Noodles. Got to get a right-handed bat in the lineup. <laughs> <laughs> right-handed bat. Schmoozing while a burning dog right. runs around my yard. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> that would be good. Schmoozing to a beheading video. <laughs> <laughs> Until gurgling is played. I think they use deep in the rotation, right? Of course uh, they do. They love saying deep in the rotation. What a little weak as far as uh, deep in the rotation goes. <laughs> we got to fill that uh, number eight spot in the lineup, really. Why don't you fill it with an interesting call? How about that? <laughs> How about you fucking fill in from fucking six to ten on this fucking, on this station? Because this sports talk is terrible. Hey, you know, just, hey, you know, we'll see what happens. Of course we will. Yeah, that's all we can do. Of course we will. That's all we can do is see what happens. Everyone calling the station, everyone on the station will see what happens because they don't play. <laughs> yeah, last night's game, what happened? Mm -hmm. Eight to five. We know. One team scored more than the other team. Next story. Uh, Fucking hate them. Obviously. <laughs> Do you like this? And the 1-0. Swung on and it high in the air to deep left field. That ball is high. It is far. It is gone. Over the green monster into the monster seats. Eduardo Nunez. El Mateo. It's a home run over the left field wall. And the Yankees tie the game at one. Wow. Good, good, good call by the Bendejo. <laughs> <laughs> that fucking oh, asshole. The Maricon. <laughs> the Maricon squats on the bat and it disappears. <laughs> <laughs> John, I couldn't believe he got two bats in his hidey. I'm Susan Sheckler. <laughs> I always sound like I got sloppy wet saliva. I talk like a St. Bernard. Posada knew he could take it all the way up to the hill. Yeah. Posada looks like pine tar, but it's really stomach lining on his back. <laughs> I can't believe that's buried. This took it so far, John. It's high as far, and it's gone. It's got blood on it. John. <laughs> it is high. It is far. It is pink socking. <laughs> Boo. Jimmy, I got one for you that we forgot about as far as sports talk goes. Obsessive trade talk, where they they just come up with trades that'll never happen. Oh, that's the worst. <laughs> Isn't it the worst? Hey, what about if we want uh, two prospects for a quarterback and Ron Gidry? I don't know. What if you fucking put a fucking put a gun to your temple and ended this call properly? A quarterback and Ron Gidry. <laughs> yeah, what do you think would happen if we uh, we try to trade two lefties for a righty? I don't know. I think it'd be the same as if you trade two righties for a lefty. Go hang yourself. How do you think of that? Obsessive trade talk. Why don't you trade two apples for an orange? Go fuck your mother. <laughs> now we need a quarterback. That's great, because we as listeners need an interesting caller. Now, the right-hander is set. It'll be a 2-1. Swung on and hit in the air to deep right center. That ball is high. It is far. It is gone. Good stop. Into the Boston bullpen. Stop. Brett Gardner, instead uh -oh. of lining one down the right field line, oh. 
Hits a long shot Good to Gardner left one. center in the Boston bullpen. Buff Gardner plants one, and the Yankees take a two. Uh, yeah. That's it, you dumb Yankees. Just keep letting fucking keep letting John Sterling make it about himself. Gardner plants one. Get it? Yeah. That's no, uh, I didn't really get it. Oof. That's <laughs> only funny it. if Gardner is in a strip club and a stripper shows her asshole <laughs> and he kisses it aggressively until the bouncers <laughs> remove him. <laughs> Jimmy, I got another or one for you. His name is Graves. <laughs> <laughs> Graves plants one. <laughs> <laughs> or rapist. <laughs> Teddy rapist plants one <laughs> deep in the seat. <laughs> <laughs> You want another one? Yes. Uh, please. Oh, fuck. They're coming in real Ah, wow, Bill Tetley. Oh, here we go. Hold on. <laughs> uh, Nick C. in Pittsburgh. Oh. Don't forget about the utility player and the setup guy. <laughs> I hate the setup guy. The seventh and eighth inning guy. The setup guy. We don't have a strong setup guy. It's always usually a lefty or righty specialist. That's normally who the setup guy is. Mm. Yeah, but you don't have to discuss it for an hour. No, no. here's what you got to say. We have anyone to go in the seat? Yeah, we do. All right, cool. Yeah. Next. Do we got a guy that could throw seven pitches? Yeah. Good. All right. Done. And then another guy thank can you. come in and throw eight. Yeah. Thank and a guy you. that could throw two to a lefty in a row. Oh, it's fucking horrible. Mm-hmm. 